As I'm sure you guys know, I'm from Brazil, and I have another channel here on YouTube in Portuguese where I cover a lot of tech stuff. I get sent a lot of products from this website called Gearbest, and uh, my audience over there really enjoys these videos. I've been getting a lot of requests to cover the same kind of content here on my English channel, and it makes a lot of sense because I talk a lot about tech and video games over here. Now, for full disclosure, I do make a small commission when you guys buy the products that I feature here. It's a great way to support the channel. As I'm sure you guys know, ad revenue isn't what it used to be. That being said, I don't let that affect my opinion of the devices. I try to be pretty impartial if there's something, if there's a problem with it, I do call it out. And I try to stick with products that already come really well recommended. I'm not going to try to pass something off as something that it's not. So I try to choose things that already the reviews seem to indicate it's pretty decent and I'm going to be honest with the flaws that I do find. Now that that's all out of the way, let's go into the review of the Elephone. Oh, I mean it's inside the case here, but let's try that again. Let's go into the review of this little action camera here, the Elephone Rexo Explorer K. So the first thing I really like, the Elephone Rexo Explorer K, and I know I'm gonna screw up when I try to say this name again. Uh, I'm just gonna call it the Explorer K, all right? It comes in this little pouch here. I really like that. So it comes with a lot of accessories. I'm gonna, let's take a look at the camera first. So here's the Elephone Rexo Explorer K. It's supposed to shoot in 4K. We'll see what that footage actually looks in a bit. So it comes in this waterproof case here and it seems like it has a bunch of accessories that from what I can tell are compatible with the GoPro line of cameras. So this is the camera itself, as you can see here. I'm gonna peel that off. There we go. So small compact camera. I have my GoPro here, my aging GoPro. I think it's a three plus. Let's see here, it's right here. So it's very comparable uh, in dimension, as you can see here from all size. And I would be even willing to hazard a guess that it would fit into this case here. Let's try here. This is the my GoPro. Let's see. And it fits. And it, it's not as snug though, as you can see. It rattles a bit when it's in there. Let's try the, uh, the Elephone camera here. So that's more snug. As you can see, it's very close to the dimensions of my GoPro Hero 3 Plus. Not quite the same though. So it comes with this uh, waterproof case here and it has buttons here on the outside for you to access the functions of the camera. This lens here, it's like a lens protector here, like this little part here. I thought for a second that this was more wide angle than it actually is, but it's not. It's just flat here. So let's set the camera aside for a second. This I find interesting on this little case here, which again, I, I can't stress this enough. I really enjoy when manufacturers bundle things like that for you because then it's a one stop shop thing you buy the camera and then you got the case you got the accessories the same thing doesn't happen with the GoPro which is considerably more pricey too so there's that I understand when you're buying something like this you're buying the brand there's a lot of value to the brand but I'm not seeing that in my wallet is what I'm trying to say like when I bought this thing I had to go out and buy all these things separately so let's see here one thing I like is that it has little inserts if you buy extra batteries that's kind of cool so here we have let's see this is I, I'm not sure like I've had a, a GoPro for years but I don't know what the actual names of these little accessories here but it comes with one of these right and it already comes mounted with this little uh, it's like a clip kind of mount if you are familiar with GoPros you know what this is for so there's a different kind of mount here it's like a clip mount let's see here so it comes with this here so it's a clip kind of mount here as you can see like a little alligator clip type thing okay and it's wider too let's see if uh, the other accessories show us what this is actually for so there's a good thing here so this is some adhesives and I believe I've seen this before this is to secure the camera if you're mounting to the outside of a car or a surfboard or something like that. This is what this is for. I never used it myself, but there it is. Like perhaps you landed on this video after looking for camera accessories or other camera reviews, you might be more familiar with this than me or the way it's used anyway. So what else we got? We got some kind of strap here. Let's see, let's open this here. So this is, this is a bunch of straps, a bunch of Velcro straps. I use one of these, uh, I play Airsoft and I had other budget cameras like this and I use this to mount the camera to my gun. So you thread it through this I'm probably doing it wrong. It's perhaps this way here, something like this, and then you clip this here. And then what I did is I I used this to mount the camera to the barrel of my um, of my gun to play airsoft. So it comes with one, two, three, four Velcro straps. So that's pretty good in case you need something like that to secure the camera. So this uh, is it looks like a handlebar handlebar accessory, so you can mount the camera to your bike. Yeah, this is what I believe it is. So you just loosen this thing up here, or if you have like a small like in my case, I would use this for for airsoft, right? So some of the guns that have uh, thinner barrels, you can attach this to the barrel of the gun and then mount the camera there to record your games. That's what a lot of people in the 
the sport do. I remember when I started playing airsoft, I didn't have an action camera because I didn't have that much money and I, I guess I had to choose between buying an airsoft gun or a camera. So for the longest time I couldn't, I didn't have a way to record my video, uh, my games. These are zip ties, so nothing special. I don't see how you'd use this, but I, I imagine to secure the camera if you're mounting to the outside of a vehicle or something like that, that would be useful. So some more of these, I believe these are called, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe these are called transfer mounts because what they do is, I'll show you here, let me loosen this here. They transfer the camera from one direction of mount to another. So um, let me show you here. So this mount here, as you can see, it's in this direction, right? So when you connect this to this here, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna actually do it. I'm not gonna be lazy. <laughs> so if you connect this like so, okay, like that. Oh, it's really tight. Even without the screw, that's kinda good. Or bad if you really wanna move it around a bunch. Now this, I believe, is not the proper screw to attach to the camera on the side like this because it's gonna be hard to, this is the thumb screw, I believe they're called, on the Grover website. You want the big one so that your finger's not gonna be hitting the uh, case of the camera as you're, there we go, this is much better. So, okay, so before, the camera have to be mounted this way. So now, you can mount it to an accessory on the side like this, right? And then you can pivot it up. So, yeah, so that's what it's for. I'm gonna take this out again. What else do we have here? We have, oh, this is good. This is a tripod mount, so it has a quarter inch. I have a tripod right here, as luck would have it. I'm not sure if it's gonna, okay, so I have this right here, right? It's a gorilla pod that I cannibalized to use the ball head on the, let me show you my setup real quick. Uh, check this out, this is how I'm recording this. As you can see, the camera, there's a 70D pointing straight down with the boom mic here, the Rode Video Mic Pro, the uh, LCD here. This is what I'm seeing. So I actually took the ball head from this from this guy here, from this guy right here, to do this little rig there. Anyway, let's go back to the review, and here we go. I'm not sure if people care about these technical aspects of the videos. I do. When I'm, when I'm watching someone's video, I'm very curious about their setup, so maybe you guys are into that as well. So this here, I think I know what this is for. Let's see here. So I'm gonna take it out of the waterproof case here. Uh, I believe it would go like so. Oh, this is really good. So this is this is essentially what you get from this. You can mount it to a tripod like so. I'm gonna mount it. I wish I had a smaller, actually I do have a smaller tripod. Right here. You can mount the GoPro to a, a tripod, okay? And then you get, okay, so it's mounted to the tripod right here. And then you get the accessory mounts on the top here. I'm gonna hazard a guess that you could attach the, uh, the, the GoPro connector for a microphone on the side here and then mount the microphone here using one of the, the accessories. So this is what you have. This is good because it allows you to pop the camera out easily. So you go from having the camera in your hand to having the camera on a tripod really easy. That's one thing I don't like about using this tripod with my uh, G7X. The G7X is this camera right here that I'm pointing at right now. I have to unscrew every time I have to go from holding the camera to having the camera on the, on the tripod. I really like this. I'm gonna actually look for something like this for my for my G7X because this is, this is very practical to so just clip on there and there it is. Is. And I hope I'm using this right because I realize now you could actually go the other way around and have it so that you have this mounted on a, a GoPro accessory and then have a device like have a, uh, an accessory on the quarter inch screw port on the top here. Very good, very versatile. There's a lot of lots of options here. This is basically it. like with this kit, you have a lot of things. There's another transfer. I really don't know what to call this. I hope there's some GoPro expert that's going to chime in and, and let me know. So this one here is the, I believe it's called the J connector. I remember from buying my GoPro accessories. Actually, let me show you something here. I have, over the years, amassed a large amount of GoPro accessories, as you can see here on this camera here. There you go. See, I have a lot of GoPro stuff that I spend a pretty penny on. And uh, these Chinese little cameras, they usually come with all the accessories you would need for basically any situation you find yourself in. If you want to mount this on your bicycle or on your, uh, oh, here we go. It even came with this. Dude, I had to go to a, like a specialty camera shop to buy these. I have these somewhere. So this, you have a quarter inch screw here, right? I'm gonna show on this camera here. And then you can mount this, like say here, to put this mount on like the J connector here, or the J hook, I don't know what it's called. But basically you have, you can, there's endless combinations for you to mount these things here. So like the other one here I see is, you got the quarter inch screw on this end here, and then you got one with the quarter inch screw hole here. So you can connect the camera, like same way you can, uh, let's see here, let me use this guy. So let's say you have the camera, where's the camera? <laughs> the camera is here, it's in the case right here, the waterproof case right so you got it there and then you want to connect this thing to a regular tripod right so what you do is you screw this here I'll show you here so you put that on there you screw this on here right Let's see here did I line them up right yeah I did so you screw this on here sorry if I keep pulling the camera out of the out of the frame it's kind of hard to, to coordinate two different cameras here there we go but that's the beauty of having two cameras I'm bound to be in frame with at least one of them so there you go you got this on here and now you can put the camera on a 
tripod, right? So if you want to do like selfie style vlogs, right? So and they're much they're much better if you have instead of holding the camera, if you have something like this. So now you can tilt the camera like this, and you can do your selfie style vlogs with this in water and not have to worry about the camera getting busted, right? So this is really good. I really like how you basically have every accessory you could possibly need for uh, for an action camera right here in this very convenient pouch. So let's see what else. This one is really tight. I think I gotta break it in. So we also got here, okay, this is really nice. So these are mounts for like, for surfaces, right? Basically, so there's an adhesive here, 3M adhesive. You're gonna stick this to something and that's where these things come in because they clip like so, wait a second. So now you have this glued onto a surface, right? And then the clip is there and the camera would be mounted on top here. Like I said, I had to buy a bunch of these things for my GoPro back in when I used my uh, action cameras more, when I traveled more. And uh, it costs a lot of money. There's a little cloth here to clean the lens. There's a manual outlining, I imagine, how to use the device and all the little, you know, explaining what goes where and listing out all the accessories you get with it. It doesn't ship with an SD card, which is kind of a bummer, but there's that. There is a, what is this? This is a micro USB cable to charge the camera and transfer files. I imagine you have a bunch of these already. I certainly do. And now I want to take a look. I think that covers it all. So this is all the accessories. I want to get a good shot here of everything that comes in the camera. You get all of this, right? So Velcro straps, these zip ties, you got handlebar mounts, you got these, all of these, you got a bunch of stuff. There's this little wire thing here too. I, I've seen people, like people who do car vlogs, use these because they basically, to, to attach the camera more securely to the, the body of the car so it doesn't go flying down the highway, right? So there's that. And the waterproof case and the camera itself. So let's turn this guy on and let's see what kind of quality we're working on. There we go, and has an LCD built in, which is nice. My GoPro did not have that. I had to buy that LCD separately. So it shoots in 4K in 30 FPS, but we'll see here, no SD card. I thought I put one in there. Let's see here. Oh, no SD card, yeah, that might be why. SD card, oh, select, 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 settings. So let's see here. I'm imagining it. you have to format the SD card, and I hope there's nothing important on that SD card, but it's an old one, so probably not. It's taking a little longer than I would expect an SD card to, uh, to format. Let's uh, try a different one. Perhaps there's a problem with that one. These are a bunch of really old SD cards that I got with a bunch of random devices, so I wouldn't be surprised if they're shot. Perhaps that one doesn't work very well. Uh, okay, let's put a different one in. Here we go, okay. So let's turn it back on. Okay, I saw something flashing. There we go, pretty loud. So there you go. Uh, it seems to me that maybe there's something wrong with this SD card specifically because this one worked just fine. So let's take a look at what the quality looks like. I'm gonna start filming here. So it's now filming. And as you can see, it's filming on 4K at 30 frames per second. And uh, I like this screen here, although it's not a touch screen. So there's that, it's not a touch screen. You have to use the buttons here to operate the camera. Okay, so now you're getting the footage from the Elephone camera and uh, it, it boasts some kind of optical stabilization and I'm trying to move the camera around here and I can tell there is a slight delay in the image catching up to the movement, which is a telltale sign of uh, optical uh, stabilization. That's what I get with this camera here. With the G7X, if you're familiar with it, if you're holding the camera and you're shooting and you're moving it around, the image takes a while to catch up to the movements and that's because it's being stabilized by the camera. It's really interesting technology and it really helps getting that stable shot. So as you can see, I'm getting close up here on my 70D. I'm gonna get close up here on my Mario world map to get you a good sense of the color depth and contrast here. Let's take a look at my office and it's probably messy but whatever so there's a couple of action figures here that should give you a good idea of of uh like i said contrast and color depth and things like that my monitors here my uh, game boy collection that's framed as you can see here so yeah it's uh, from what i can see on the lcd here i haven't seen the footage outside of this but from what i can see on the lcd pretty decent quality especially and let's talk the important thing here for the price. So this camera, the Elephone Rexo Explorer K, shoots in 4K, pretty decent uh, image stabilization, as you can tell here from the video. Pretty decent quality with a whole bunch of accessories, comes with a little carrying case. It costs $113 on Gearbest. Like when I think of how, what, how much I paid for this thing, which is essentially the same thing in every regard, it even uses a lot of the same accessories. I paid, if I remember correctly, a few years ago, $500 for this camera, and then I had to go and 
buy a whole bunch of accessories that you saw earlier. This camera for 113 bucks, it already comes with all of this stuff, a carrying case. This is a really, like I really like what these guys are doing with these affordable action cameras now. So if you like this camera, the GearBest link will be in the description. Let me know if you like these kinds of tech reviews. Here I do a lot of these like I mentioned on my main channel. This is something kind of new to this channel here. I want to know if you guys enjoy this kind of content because I have lots of stuff to review that they send me. But yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, consider subscribing, drop a like, and I'll catch you guys next time.